everybody, uh, Green-Blooded Bastard back again. Um, apparently the asshole fucking guy across the street's blasting his fucking radio as he, I don't know, has every door of his fucking car open to, I don't know, air out the fucking nutsack smell or just because he's a fucking twat. But yeah, he was doing that like three days ago too. So if you hear some shitty music in the background, it's him. Um, anyways, this week's podcast commentary is for The Flash. Oh, fuck, I'm tired. Okay, let's do this shit. Um, of course, the sync point's fucking stupid. So it's going to go through all the crap really fast because it's the Flash. Uh, and go through time with the logos. As soon as you see it uh, start to fade to a clock, um, press pause. It's going to be kind of hard because there's like, not an extra second or so in between to catch it. Uh, just before the clock. So I have just that the clock hands are starting to appear. Um, when you see that, press pause, it'll say, three, two, one, pause, we're gonna watch this fucker. Um, uh, I don't know, I'm probably about 19 seconds in, give or take. Um, so if you're close to that, it won't matter, we'll get there. Figure this shit out, we're gonna do it like, uh, Morgan Freeman, you know, does bitches, uh, fast and hard and sloppy, so let's do it, okay? If you're ready, strap in. Three, two, one, unpause. Yeah, ooh, ooh, there's a clock. The worst CGI clock I've ever fucking seen. Like, that looks worse than the CGI in Fight Club. But the CGI in Fight Club came out in 99, I believe it was. And that was done, like, 98. But that was also a way where they scan, like, everything in. And then just wrap that around the 3D object so it looks more real. But that's also, like, 20 years older than this. So it holds up. <laughs> you know what? I got to say, Ezra Miller, even though when he was doing this, he was dealing with a lot of personal shit. Um, you know, and I I think he did a pretty good job, really. I think he did or what I'm sorry, whatever whatever pronouns he's using, I know he was using something different, they or something. Oh, hold on here. I'm going to look it up. So, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. He, there, they use they, them, it, zir, z-i-r. Okay, I'm just going to say... When I use him as a pronoun, and I don't want people to get butt hurt because they they don't like words, but uh, I'm just gonna say him as the character, okay? Because un unlike apparently fucking sad sex is shit, words scare them and they're fucking snowflakes and they don't like it, so they can go fuck themselves. And if you're one of them, I'm sorry, but go fuck yourself. You know what? You probably also claim to be a Christian, even though you're fucking not. But let me tell you something. He is risen. Okay, that's a pronoun. It's in the Bible. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, let's get back to the movie. Yeah, I think Ezra does a pretty good job in this film. When this shows, like, some of his earlier films, we're like, wow, this guy is good. Like, this guy could be really good. God, just, the, like, just the CGI in here, just, it sucks. <laughs> in general, it sucks. Some of it's pretty good, but a lot of it's just not good. And I know as the director said it was, like, stylized. It's like, you can still make it stylized and look good. <laughs> like, fuck you. Like, that don't look bad. You know, like, there's some stuff in here where you're like, okay, this looks decent, you know. Some of it looks pretty good. And the rest, it's like, 
Like some of this shit is just bad. I'm fighting Russians. I gotta take out Putin. I will say I do like some of the callbacks that this movie makes and plays on. Fucking idiot kid. I will say also I, I feel Ben Affleck got robbed out of being able to do a good Batman because I think he is a good Batman. I think they're giving him some decent stuff, but I wish he would have got a Batman film. And as much as I like Pattinson as an actor, an artist, and, uh, you know, was tepid on The Batman, because um, I think it was way too long and just the storyline wasn't wasn't great. Um, it it, it could have done the same thing better, in my opinion, and eventually when I get to that, I will get to that. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I think, I think Affleck is good in here. Jeremy Irons is always great. Um, when we get Keaton, he's fucking, he's pretty good. You know, uh, the chick who plays Supergirl, I think she's good. She got robbed out of a fucking great movie, you know, and I, I like the chick who they got to play, you know, Supergirl coming up. I think she was good at uh, the Dragons last season, but I mean, she's probably going to do a funny job, but I'm a little bummed out because I'm like, okay, well, this could be a Sasha Cali. Um, I think I think it would have been a cool, different look at, you know, Supergirl. Velcro Jr., you thought he had a big dick. That was actually a cool device he, he shot out there. I mean, even that cape just doesn't look good. Like, I know they're probably going to go, well, the cape was actually real. Well, it just doesn't look good, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. I wonder where this was shot. I mean, for the most part, I do think the action here is pretty good. It's just, I think the biggest letdown to this movie is the CGI at times. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's my stomach. Bro, you were just in the hospital. Why didn't you get like some fucking, uh, get some glucose or something? I rarely jumpstart your fucking blood sugar like this is just the shittiest looking <laughs> she threw the baby not on purpose but still a <laughs> baby shower i love it and like i'll say this this isn't necessarily as bad as some people think because it's like well how do you do this to make it look good but, I mean, some of it's not good in here. And I would say, go look at what they did in the X-Men movies. Especially that uh, Days of Future Past one. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun. Like, the babies don't even... Scalpels. Acid. I 
Oh, Jesus. You think he would have took a split second inside to do that before? Before shit hit the fan? So right now he wouldn't be fucking around? Baby in a microwave, huh? Just can't take it. I mean, the babies just look horrible. Like, they just do. The dog's like, help me. <laughs> I remember the dog. <laughs> Better question is, where the fuck is Superman right now, huh? You could have saved them all real fucking fast. Haha, <laughs> chick is so great. <laughs> After that, she still screams. <laughs> it, it dings. It fucking dings. That's the best part. I could like try to make a little joke. It's like, no, bro, that's that's even less funny after the shit that came out. <laughs> but anywho. I don't know if that's how that works, but okay, it's kind of cool. I mean, why doesn't he just have rollerblades built into his boots? Like, wouldn't that make more sense? Gotta say, I don't like his, uh, don't like his uh, suit here. I mean, it's okay. Relative. I like how he just jumps out. You know, relative to what it could be and some other shit we've had in the past. It makes sense tactically, you know, some of the stuff. But, like, still, it's just not great. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot she was even in here. <laughs> and I did watch this once. That's the worst part. Remember the dog more than her, I guess. That was fucking great. <laughs> he popped a little chubby when he saw her fucking smiling at him right there.
<laughs> Look, I'm just walking like that. <laughs> this guy is beautiful. Just none of those things. Oh yeah, <laughs> that guy's great. Like obviously, he's supposed to be antagonistic and shit, but it's still good because he's not like a complete asshole, you know. But like, he's just asshole enough that he's you know Barry is scared of him, but the rest of us just laugh at the guy. <laughs> He's gonna be balls deep in her by the end of the movie. I'm just gonna call that. I'm just gonna guess, throw that out there. He's balls deep, that's what he does. He's balls deep, does balls deep shit. I know they recast his dad. Oh, who was in here? Was it uh, Ron Livingston? Yeah, because I think it wasn't in but Batman v Superman, or whichever one they showed a little bit. <laughs> oh, God, it was what, Billy Crudup or whatever? No, it might be Billy Crudup, but I, uh, if I have the choice, I'd rather have Ron Livingston like him. Oh, I just think I threw up my mouth, folks. I'm just not going to lie. That's kind of fucking nasty. Kind of gross. Kind of sick. Kind of just uh, repulsive. That's me. That's what I do. My thing. My thing, daddy -o. He just jumps in.
I'm okay. Barry, bro. Tell me you're okay, bro. Bajillion. Poor fucker wonders why he's goddamn. He wonders why the fuck he's locked up for fucking possibly murdering her. And he's acting like a fucking yutz. That's why your fucking mom died, bro. You ran out like a bitch. You fucking bitch. You fucking bitched out, bro. Your dad just got fucking shanked, bro. Yeah, your dad just got fucking shanked, bro. How you feel about them apples, motherfucker? Well, see, even though I watched, uh, I was, I'm not, you know, I've never been, like, a huge fan of The Flash, per se. Um, I've always wanted to read the Jeff Johns stuff. So, you know, I always got, like, pretty good, pretty good uh, reviews and word of mouth, you know, and people liked what he did with it. I just never, you know, I've never gotten to it. I'm not, like, a huge fan of Flash. I don't like him when they try to make him, like, the jokester, and I know he's the jokester to a degree. But, um... I just always, you know, liked other characters. So, like, when they when they created, like, the, the fucking Green Arrow show, I was like, wow, that's great. You know, like, I like Green Arrow. Um, and when they brought in The Flash, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I should check out The Flash. And you know what? I've never checked out The Flash. Barry's like, oh, fuck, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, you're fucked, bro. That's what that is. You're fucked.
I do like this imagery. Although it all just looks really cheesy. <laughs> now, like this, I can see being stylized to a degree. Instead of like bad CGI, I would have made them look, look more like, like almost wooden kind of, you know, like puppets, like the old, you know, carved puppets. Because that would have gave it a really cool stylized look. This just kind of looks like, eh. He's like, where the fuck am I, bro? We're still talking about Pizar Pizarnov. Like, that's the version that matters of Justice League, where nobody gives a fuck about it. Stop it. Stop trying to make it happen, DC. It's not going to happen. It's almost... It's almost like Ben Affleck is commenting on his relationship with fucking J-Lo right now. <laughs> if you go back in time and step even on a leaf of grass, you could destroy everything. And you know what? Hey, serious talk for a minute. You know what? I know J Lo ain't gonna be listening to this. I know Ben Affleck ain't gonna be listening to this. But like, you know, I just feel bad for both of them. You know, because obviously they do care about each other and they do love each other. It's just you know they're fundamentally too different about certain things and, and that's not like that's an issue but that causes issues you know like i think ben's more of a laid back i just kind of hang out dude you know and I, I try not to be flashy and i just you know do my thing whereas j-lo is always like i gotta be flashy i'm out there i gotta be you know selling myself and this and that and i like you know public events and this and that you know, and that's what's causing the consternation and shit. But, like, I just feel bad for them, you know. Obviously, it'd be great if they, you know, could hold it together. But, uh, you know, it just sucks. And probably won't. Probably get a divorce. Looks where it's heading. And I think that was a little meta, little meta speech. He realized, like, oh, fuck. That was an Uber. Some of that, like, some of that comedy in, in this is fucking great. Eight hot dogs. You know what would have been great? If, if you probably couldn't have set it up with how this story is going, but it would have been great if his neighbor would know he could do this shit. And you know, he did. He's like, God damn it, Barry, it's my last beer. You know, you just hear him fucking shouting. <laughs> That'd be so great. trying to save my dad. I don't know about that. I just love my daddy.
She's like, I just wanted to maybe fuck. Um, this is getting kind of heavy. Or if you were as smart as you thought you were, like you could just <laughs> now that fucking falls, you know. Or you could just put the the tomatoes on the top shelf so they see his face. I don't know. Maybe maybe you could have made it that simple. Now where there's like literally no interaction. You fast, bro. Luncheon meat. Does it even say luncheon meat anywhere on stores at all? I guess, like how he's like not even shaking. He's like, well, that was fucked up, I guess. Um, I better just, I don't know, get out of this and go hide and stuff. Um, <laughs> now the clothes fucking fit. Jesus Christ. Look at him wearing that fucking shit. Like, like you know, it, it's fun.
studies. Now, I, I forget what it's actually called. I think there's a name for it, but I read an article about it a while ago. But, um, you know, it's about like, um, oh, what the fuck do they call it? Like, the, it's, you know, like, everyone's always like, oh, you know, like that, you know, bullshit thing where people are like, oh, there's a doppelganger of you somewhere, you know, like. That you don't know about walking around. And there, there's like a, a word for what the phenomenon is for like how your brain processes shit like this. But this, this scientist guy is basically like, if you saw somebody in public that looked exactly like you, like you wouldn't even recognize them really. Um, you know, because the way we see shit, like when we look in the mirror, we're seeing like a reverse, you know, image of us, you know, shown back at us. Whereas if we just saw, like, I will say I don't like young Barry cause he's just obnoxious. Because, like, if you saw somebody that looked exactly like you, you wouldn't be seeing the reversed image from a mirror. And you just wouldn't, like, go, oh, hey, that guy looks exactly like me. Like, 90% of the time to 99% of the time, probably, when you see those stories online, it's probably somebody else that sees someone that looks like you that you're with that's like, holy fuck, that guy looks just like you. You know, and then you like stand next to each other and take a picture. Or someone's like, hey, you look just like my sister, you know, or my cousin. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
I still like it. If I punch him now, in the past, or I feel in the future. <laughs> It got pretty dark in uh, under 30 minutes. Just going to throw that out there. For being full blown fake in daytime. <laughs> like, like, I think that's my two. You know, if this super glue, no, nah, nah, that'll do it, I guess. And that begs the question. Was Barry always there behind Barry? And that's how he got the fucking... The Flash powers. Just, just wondering. I just rolled. I'm slow.
Like, his shoes would be fucking shot at this point. Was that what's this fuck from Game of Thrones? I think it was. That was actually kind of a fun idea, instruments shooting up the back. <laughs> Making a cacophony of bullshit. Soy sauce. Like I just like I just can't stand the younger version of him. It's just ridiculous. on a ball and speed force.
I'm General Zod. Yeesh. <laughs> Fucking soup. <laughs> That's the smell. Zebras. See, like, I just love how they bring Tor Morrison back. Like, that's great.
<laughs> that guy's like that. We talking BTTF. <laughs> I know some people like that. Not as cool as that guy. Just go throw that out there. But my mimic thigh. <laughs> oh, that would be the most annoying people ever to know. And and in my younger days, I did know some of these idiots. And in scenarios like that where you go to your fucking friend's place and there's just fucking weirdos like that there. Oh. Maybe if maybe if the right movie comes up, I got some stories about a specific house I can I can tell you about <laughs> and the the people involved with that shit show. You know, I like how they do the callbacks to uh, Batman 89 or like the weapon room kind of thing like that. And <laughs> this... This is a fun little sequence coming up. Gotta say, it's a pretty cool kitchen. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Breaks the table. I love it.
That's how I feel. I just can't pop my neck like that easy. This is why they're using pasta to fucking make their metaphor, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I hate them. Is the Parmesan mean? I do like that Parmesan cheese grater. That's amazing. It takes up a lot of room, but I do like that. That'd be fucking amazing to have in my life. Let's go throw that out there. Fucking twat. <laughs> Pass. Oh God, that hurt. I will say they made an obvious yet good choice to differentiate between younger and older Barry. Outside of the actual performances making him, you know, a little bit more younger and, uh, you know, youthful in how he acts. Um, versus, you know, older Barry who's been through more and different shit. It's just a good visual cue where it's like, oh, a little bit longer hair, younger Barry. 
I mean, obviously that's something that <clears throat> goes without saying you would do, but they they made a decent choice with the hair because obviously you know they're they look the same. So the what's the what's the easiest fastest way you're gonna do it? Unless you put them in like all yellow, you know, or all red or all blue, which ain't gonna happen. You know, just giving them longer hair is is you know that split second cue to you that he's the young guy. I'm like Obi-Wan. It's as if like 10 million nerds came at the exact same moment just now. <laughs> I love it. I don't have a mom, bitch.
I'm Batman. Those 10 million fucking fanboys just fucking creamed in their shorts now. That fucking chubby just fucking shot it out. Like one would ask why <clears throat> why does Batman have a uh the seats in the back? I mean, obviously if he catches the Joker or the Riddler or somebody, uh, you know, or just uh Falcone's son. Um, you know, he'd need somewhere to put him, but he's like he just couldn't make like a little area down on the bottom to hold him. <laughs> There's the music, and there's the shot. You got the fucking bat symbol right there in the moon. This rips dick. And this rips dick, Jesus Christ. That was great. It just did it a little. Just let it out. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Now, I haven't watched Batman 89 in a while, but I mean, I don't recall his fighting style. But I would say this is a little more in line with the 
older Batman movies and the newer Zack Snyder ones. I tried all the combinations. Now, they kind of gave it away in the trailers with Supergirl being in here. But I think it would have been cooler to not let Supergirl slip and then let this be a shock to the audience. is going, oh, fuck. It's not Superman, it's Supergirl. Hmm. Uh, it's just me, though. I'll grab her, just go. It looks like fucking Chef Boyardee almost. Handle this jabroni. <laughs> Why would you assume we couldn't? I need this knee. I don't think I've weighed 180 since, like, second grade. <laughs> That's a fucking sad but true story. No, oh, here comes the sun.
serious Barry, shut up. Now we fucking whip our dicks out and see what happens. I mean, this stuff looks pretty good, honestly. Compared to some of the stuff earlier, this shit's decent. Like, it could be a little better, but it's pretty good. Like, if, if all the CG in this movie, you know, could have been at this level, I think people would have been a lot more forgiving for a movie that was this fucking expensive to make. Somebody's got to clean that shit up. There's no Alfred. It's going to be fucking no power, Barry. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm back. Holy Funyuns. fucked up. I don't know if she's necessarily solar power, but because of the sun on our planet being yellow, that's how she gets the superpowers.
I'm a crypto fucker. He's like, yeah, maybe. I don't know if I like fucking uh, Michael Keaton walking around in tennis shoes. That just seems awkward to me. <laughs> it just does. I don't know. I love Michael Keaton. Love him. Loved him since I was a kid. <clears throat> fucking Mr. Mom, Gung Ho. What was it Pacific Heights? Came out a few years after, you know, Batman and all those. Great in the founder. Fucking, it was great. Who the fuck is that? I was like, what the hell is that? But oh, they, they have a Batman fucking kite hooked up to some goddamn Ben Franklin level shit right here. He's like, shit, okay, um. <laughs> Some fucking Frankensteinian like shit right here.
He just smiles like, yeah, yeah, I did what I was supposed to do, I think. Oh, the fucker's dead, but <laughs> he got electrocuted. She's like, I'll take that son of a bitch up into the fucking clouds. And give him the old fucking rub and tug. <laughs> that was uncalled for and creepy. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Uh, that was uncalled for. Fucking, no fucking spit roast is shit. Lots of crystals you could live in. <laughs> that makes no sense.
<laughs> friendly Terminator. That's assuming they have Terminators over there, but... Okay. This kid's nuts. Oh, <laughs> I like how this is older Batman. He's the only fucking Batman right now. Now, you know, I think it's an interesting moment to tie back to here. Um, I, I don't know if we need it, per se. Like, because you cut out Supergirl... Mistress Murder. He just looks like a fucking mongoloid. <laughs> he does. A fucking bad suit. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, it's cool because you get a cool fight scene and you can... You can do shit, you know, a couple times with the time travel shit. You know, and stuff, but... It's just like, you know, what what do we need this for? Like, I mean, obviously it's about family. You know, he's trying to get his family back. Bruce is coming to terms with the loss of his family and helping this, you know, kid get his family back. You know, and get back to where he was and fix fix the issues he inadvertently caused. You know, you have Supergirl here, Kara's fucking family. Like, I understand the themes, you know, they're going for, but it's like, this is a lot of money and a lot of time for something that doesn't, you know, necessarily need to be here. Like, you could have made this a tight two-hour, hour 50 fucking movie. <laughs> And maybe just expanded the, what do they call them in here, negative flash or something, I don't remember. But, uh, um, or you fucking kill them. Uh, if, 
We fucking killed him, bro. I mean, you could you could have kept it a more intimate story, and possibly explored you know alternate timelines a little more with that other character, kicking you out and getting stuck like in this timeline where you got to use you know Batman just to help you get back. You know, like you could have did that. That's cool. Like it could have been more of like you know character study as opposed to oh fuck we need to put a huge spectacle at the end now. It's like no, this is a cool moment to tie to. Yes. But it doesn't fucking, it doesn't really add anything to the story per se. So it's like, it's just a lot of time and money spent on something we don't necessarily need, you know? That was a cool shot. I mean, all things being equal, in in theory and you know reality, Zod should probably kick her ass because he was a warrior, you know, a general. A badass. And neither of them have years on this planet to have more strength or better understand how to do shit. So, in theory, he should kick her ass every time in this scenario. You know, as much as I like the white stripes, I don't know if we need to throw the white stripes in here, but okay. Now, I think it would have been fun, you know, because they kind of tried to give it the same vibe and keep it light and fun. Throw in music, you know, like Zack Snyder does. I mean, that could have been Andy Machete's choice, too, but I think it fits the tone of trying to keep it in the same shared universe, you know, and tie it together with what was done there, but make it its own thing. But I think it would have been cool, like, with these songs... If you would have played them in a little more, once you get to this alternate timeline, it's the same songs, but done by, like, different people. So, like, you want to get the White Stripes, cool, get the White Stripes, but do a song that's very recognizable and obviously not a White Stripes song. But, like, you know, have Jack White, maybe Meg White, if you can get her to be involved with it, because that'd be cool. Um, to, to do their interpretation of a song similar to, like, what their stuff is, you know, as a White Stripe song, but just do it, like, alternate, you know? Uh, like, that could have been cool, just playing around with the whole, you know, Eric Stoll shit. And... It, it could have been fun. And he's like, fool you, boo. <laughs> Jumps out. Like, I wish they would have went a little more Flashpoint with this. 
you know, explore the alternate timelines more. And as that happened, he started, you know, getting a little shards of stuff on him. And then that's when he realizes the bad guy's him. And, you know, you could have did a cool thing, you know, tying together Young Self, Batman. And you could even have, you know, maybe Kara just be there, you know, in one of the different, you know, timelines helping beat the fucking, you know, crazy old ass version of Flash. You know, it's in the fucking time shit. You sure about that, bro? You sure about that, bro? Bro can barely wipe his ass and he thinks he's going to run back in time. Imagine that, bro. I always got a button that just makes the thing spin with centrifugal force like a motherfucker. It doesn't make sense why you would have that, but okay. I guess if you fight space guys like that. <laughs> that was a great effect. That was a great effect. Punch him in the dick. That'll knock his ass over. Shove one up his ass. That's got to be a weak spot. I mean, Clark shits. He's got an asshole. Shove it up his ass. That's actually pretty cool, too. Solid music playing. He's like, I'm old, Barry. I'm sorry. I did my best. It's okay. You're a good kid. You'll save your dad. Did kid. I got black eyeliner in my eyes. I'm fucking Batman.
He just throws his gloves like an asshole. Oh god, I just... I just remembered we have that whole fucking... Speaking of Nexus, the whole fucking bad, bad CGI shit coming up with all these fucking DC characters. I forgot all about it. Like, Jesus Christ, this movie just will not fucking... I mean, we got 26 minutes. So you gotta figure there's at least 15... 15 more minutes of this shit show. We'll try a million to one, bro. Let's do it. And I'm still laughing about the fact that, like, this guy, and it's not a funny thing, but it's like, he thought he was some sort of messiah in real life <laughs> or some bullshit. And <laughs> just, like, fucking... Had that crazy cult shit, broke into people's houses, steal fucking alcohol. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, chill the fuck out. Bro, just one more time, man. <laughs> just like, I mean, I get what they're going for, but it's just ridiculous. Is this kind of fucking cheese dog?
Oh, shit. Yeah, dumb fuck. Uh. Oh, he looks older than fuck. He's got gray hair. Fucking George Reeves. <coughs> Chester Reeves doesn't look too bad. Supergirl, she looks pretty good compared to some of these. Jesus Christ. Old school Batman. Like a Nick Cage fighting a big spider. This looks horrible. I came from that. It was a Superman Lives script or whatever. I think he said he filmed something. And then you look at this and it's just like fucking CG. It's like, why would you use CG if you filmed something or would, would film something? Like... Some real Star Trek Voyager shit right there. When I ever do that fucking uh, two-parter, was it the year of hell or whatever? I don't know if that, I don't know if that was what it was called, but there's the two-parter where there's the guy that was messing around with the fucking time shit, and eventually what redid it all was they basically just destroyed the ship and everything back went back to the way it was. This is a fun idea. I'm like, why can't he just be an old Superman? Like, how about that? <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm like, give me a fucking break.
He's, he's gonna fuck his mom. He's gonna fuck his goddamn mom. What a creep. I'd watch it, though. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it makes me creep, too. But, hey. It's, it's all right. Maybe I know her. Maybe I know her. Are you kidding me? Want to hug? He's halfway inside her. I guess, I guess that I wasn't paying attention. This is the same song she was singing before. I don't know. I was like, well, that was creepy. See, if you were that smart to begin with, Barry, you would have came up with that idea in the first place. Because you realize you could go back in time. Oh, there's a director, I believe, Andy Machete. <laughs> Black guy. It's just like, what the fuck? The bailiff would slap him and say, no touching this motherfucker. That's what he'd say. So you, you haven't been fucking acquitted here and it hasn't been overturned. Get your, get your fucking lawless hands off that kid. And fucking just like pistol whip the shit out of him. That's what, that's what bailiffs get paid for.
<laughs> They're like, what? Oh, God, the fucking high-waisted jeans. Make it stop, folks. Make it... Kids, 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 let me tell you something here. We all struggled through this shit, so you guys don't have to. We went through all this stuff several times, so you don't have to. We we kicked out all the bad fucking clothing and hair trends, so you didn't have to. And I don't say this like some old fucking curmudgeon, you know, curmudgeon... Uh, handkerchief. I don't know. I'm just making words up now. But it's like, we we lived through this shitty clothing and shitty haircuts. So you didn't have to. Okay? We decided, no, that shit, no, this is good. Tweak that. Like, like, just shut the fuck up and go with it. Okay? Just go with what we got. You can wear what you want, but stop trying to bring it back. Okay? If you're the one creep out of a thousand, wear your high, your high rise fucking high waisted jeans. Like, that's fine. Like, fuck off. This was the biggest thing I was pumped with when I found out. I love, I love that they... <laughs> Who the fuck is this? I wish, I wish I would have made a sequel just to see him and fucking George Clooney as Batman. Because that would have been great. His tooth falls off. I thought it was the other tooth, honestly. But whatever, we'll see. Thanks for listening, folks. We barely made it, okay? We barely fucking did. Okay, so that's all we got. Adios.